where Sanjay and I had very similar views. In some areas, we had differences. Sometimes we fought like mad, at other times we were very good friends. He was much more extrovert, I'm more introverted. He liked playing pranks, uh, cutting jokes. I think I'm a little more sober. I was close to my mother for obvious reasons. At the same time, I was also very close to my father. And uh, especially uh, his interest in hobbies and in doing things uh, kept us very close together. Uh, I think he also taught me a, a dignity of labor, not hesitating to work with your hands, being straight and truthful, not hesitating to uh, speak out. Boarding school really uh, molds you to a very great degree. And I'm sure that the school has had a very deep effect. It's not just the question of studies and the marks and things like that, it's, it's the total education that it gives you, the vision that it gives you, that's important. In school, my favorite subjects are maths and geography. What kind of a student was he? That's much better you ask somebody else. <laughs> Terrible, I think. <laughs> yes, I was. I was very quiet, very shy. Well, I can really thinking back now. Uh, I was always being, I was embarrassed at being my grandfather's grandson. I think that that was really the real reason. I remember he, when he came to school when we were there and I just didn't come out. I was always somewhere at the back. They couldn't find me. After a year at Imperial College in London, Rajiv moved to Trinity College, Cambridge for a course in mechanical engineering. enjoyed ourselves, didn't do enough study. I think it really built your character, it uh, developed your personality there and gave you a, 
a view of the world which you don't get from India, and especially if you're related to, you know, the Prime Minister, grand grandson of the Prime Minister. Even a grandson of a Prime Minister is hard up at times. It's very difficult because we, we used to get very low allowances and we, we couldn't really manage on uh, what we were sent from home. And well, we had to do something to make up for it, which meant really that you had to work during the holidays. And well, I worked in all sorts of places from uh, picking fruit and orchards to uh, selling ice cream to loading and unloading trucks in cold storages to night shifts at bakeries. In 1964, Rajiv met the Italian Sonia Maino, who came to Cambridge for a year to study at the exclusive Lennox Cook School of Languages. Sonia was the middle of three daughters of a building contractor, Stefan Maino of Orbasano, Italy. I met Sonia for the first time in Cambridge. Most of us Indians used to go to a restaurant, a Greek restaurant. And that's where I first saw her. And then we sort of tried to organize through a friend to meet. He could tell Christian, a very good friend again, that he really fancied that girl. So he made the arrangements to sit here next to him. In fact, I think I remember, I'm not quite sure, but I think I remember he was quite full and I said, uh, Rajin, would you mind if a young girl lady joins you at table? He said, certainly not for a young lady. I said, would you mind because I'm going to charge you double if I'm with a young lady like that to your table? And that's how it started. I believe, I'm not quite sure, I think they fallen in love there and then. From the first time I saw her, I knew that, well, she was the girl for me and then we fell in love. I'd never seen anybody so much in love. I mean, both sides, usually the boy would love the girl much more and vice versa, but with those two, you just couldn't separate them. It's something you only read in books. It worked very well. It's now 24 years since we met. I found Sonia very straightforward and outspoken, never hiding anything or putting anything away. I found her very understanding and warm as a person. I don't know, I, I was in love with her. 